What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, before y'all jump down my, like, relax. Okay, so y'all know I've been busy, and if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I posted this note that basically said that I wasn't going to react to Chloe's album. I wasn't going to react to Chloe's album because YouTube was, it wouldn't let me upload. YouTube wouldn't let me upload. They wouldn't let me post. I couldn't even post the letter on YouTube so that the people on YouTube would know that I couldn't post on YouTube. But y'all, like, I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion after this reaction. I'm so proud of Chloe. So proud of Chloe. Y'all, y'all know me, so y'all know how I feel about Chloe. But if you're new to the channel, I'm so proud of Chloe. I'm so happy. Chloe, when you watch this, I'm so proud of you. Like, I'm so proud of you. Like, this is a debut that is going to be remembered, talked about, and studied. I guarantee you because it's so much up and down. See, that's the thing. When pe people think negativity is a bad thing, but when there's positive, negative, positive, negative, th there's an opportunity to learn something from that situation, that up and downness. This debut rollout and debut album is going to be studied. Mark my words. But let's get into my two favorite records off the album. Lose You and Feel Me Cry. Like, y'all, I listen to this album every day, all day. Let's get into the reaction. Y'all, I won't be seeing Chloe until August um, when she performs at the Soul Bloom because y'all know they pushed it back. And then I'm also going to see her on the Renaissance Tour when she opens up for Beyonce. What we is close. Shout out to the dream, man. Yeah. I love this song, y'all. Yeah. I really don't want to pause the video. When you can just stand there and sing like that and get that energy, you one of them girls. That's why it's just like y'all really gotta stop playing with Chloe. Cause Chloe is one of them girls. And I'm start I'm I'm loving that she's starting to realize that she one of them girls. Chloe, don't Chloe. Continue to delete social media. Cause dumb up this is weird. If they gonna sit up there and say that you're not one of the best to ever do it, especially in this group of girls. I've been saying this since 2020. When did um when did uh Have Mercy come out? 2020 or 2021? When Have Mercy came out, I said, oh, because we already knew that you can do 
the whole ballet thing because Chloe and Hadley. So we knew it was there. But when you started pushing out the have mercies and the treat me's and I'm like, oh, she can do it all. And she's going to be one of those those girls that stand in on a stage with no dancers uh, and no backdrop, a mic, a little bit of smoke and a spotlight. And she's going to fill up that stadium and that whole stadium is going to sing back because she just got it. She's just one of them. Like, man, all that stuff about what y'all was doing on social media with Chloe and stuff, that stuff was irritating me. I try not to get into the mix. But I'm letting y'all know that stuff was bothering me for real, for real. Chloe is one of the best girls to do it, especially in this time. Ugh. I mean, in an album, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. To know what? No, you're not the one. And she looked good. Luju is gonna be one of them songs that when she five albums in, she gonna still be singing Luju. She got it. She has it. Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick if y'all think this girl ain't got it. It upsets me so it's upset me so bad. I'm kinda glad I didn't react to the album. Because Chloe didn't need that negative energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody has to think like I do. Sing, baby. I want you to feel me 
Y'all tripping, bruh. Y'all tripping. Let me say that song. And I'm not going to really even go off like that because 10 out of 10. Shout out to Chloe. 10 out of 10. Chloe, you know what it is, but Chloe moves to the side so I can talk to people. Chloe's debut album is better than a lot of debut albums that we've been getting recently. And you know, it's really not to even discredit them. But why y'all discrediting Chloe? That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not even trying to tear them down. But y'all trying to tear Chloe down. And I just don't feel like that's right. You know what I'm saying? Chloe, you know what? I'm not going to even go off like that. I'm really going to really back in. Because I really had plans to go off. I'm, I'm going to pull it back. Um... Chloe, Body Do needs to be an international single. You need to put out, I need you to put out Body Do as an international single. Um, Chloe, write this down, babe. I'm about to give you a lot of stuff. Write this down. Body Do, I want you to put out as an international single. And I really want, I really think Lose You, I really know Lose You will be an incredible single for you. I really think it's your Grammy. I think it's your Grammy. So, I want Body Dude to be an international single. I need Lose You and Told You. You can release as double singles. Now, I don't know if Parkwood is going to really give you the budget to do this. But if you could fight for anything, fight for that. A video and a single push for Lose You. And a video and a single push for Told you. And we need Missy Ellie in a video. I really think that Lose You is your Grammy. And I'm going to tell you something. This album, it gives Grammy. It gives Grammy. Definitely um, best R&B Grammy. Um, best uh, um, album. Best R&B album Grammy. It gives it. I'm, I'm just, it's good music. It's not that foo-foo. Like, people wouldn't even know how to take this. Like, the average person wouldn't even know how to digest this on a radio. Because on a radio right now, it's so much foo-foo. Shout out to all my, my songwriters and my producers and my engineers that's getting to the bag. I mess with y'all heavy. But at the same time, when a, a quality artist comes along and gives y'all quality music, y'all really need to, the fans, like, y'all really need to respect it. Because at, at the end of the day, the way y'all acted and the things y'all did to Chloe when her debut album came out was just ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was uncalled for. It was stupid. And it really showed who knew what they was talking about and who really don't know what they're talking about. And I said what I said. Like, y'all really upset me with that. And, and it was so funny that YouTube had blocked me for that week or whatever, that time period, because I could not get on YouTube and react to the album. But, Chloe, I listen to that album every day. Day. And I'm coming to see you. I wanted to see you at your own um, tour, but I don't think I'm going to be able to this go around. But I'm definitely seeing you at the Soul Bloom concert. They postponed it to August. So please don't move the date. Please stay on it. Please. And also, when you open up for Beyonce on a Renaissance tour. When you open up for Beyonce on a Renaissance tour. Um, but I love all of the songs, y'all. Like, let me see if I can go through it really quick, because I think I'm about to lose battery. 
So, I, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, falling for you. I love the the vibe of the song, but it's not a song. It's like this long, just this, this, this long, and um, you know, just the talking and stuff. But this is her debut album, so that must have a special place for her, and that's why she put it on. There. But make it look easy. Love make it look easy. Love she back. I've been wanting to y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about Cheap Back. Just go watch all my Chloe reactions. And I literally mentioned Cheap Back in all of them. Um, in pieces, beautiful, hard on my seat, beautiful. Y'all know how I feel about Pray It Away. I'm talking fast with my battery dying. Um, how does it feel? An incredible record. How does it feel? Y'all played on that too. And y'all know why. Oh, uh, that's another conversation. Worry. I think it's money. Money. Now you know me. Know me. Love worry. Um, did I miss something? I Lu I think my favorite is Luju. I don't mind. Love, I don't mind. I didn't really care for Body Do when it first came out, but I like it now. The live performance is really giving it light, and the lyrical content is giving it light for me. That's why I wanted to be an international single, because I think that it will be appreciated more in other places. And that's just keeping it real. Like, we appreciate it, or we can grow to appreciate it, but... They're not going to appreciate it, Chloe. International hit. And we love the intro. The intro has meaning. Shout out to Chloe. The album is a 10 out of 10. Chloe, you are a 10 out of 10. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Uh, Chloe, follow me on Instagram. We got to talk. I'm a songwriter, Chloe, and I would love to work with you in the future, too. That's another thing, because you be popping your sh and you just give, like, I'm grown, and I'm going to say what I want to say. And I know how you say that it's a struggle for you with social media and stuff like that. But, girl, pop your shit. Pop your shit. Girl, the people that's talking about you, girl, is broke. The people that's talking about you is broke. Can't afford nothing. They talking about you. But they, you know what I'm saying? If you want to become a part of the posse, make sure you write in the comments. Let me know what else you want me to react to on this channel. And always remember, on the other side of fear is greatness. Stop being scared and just do it. Chloe. Just pop your shit. My name is Mike and this is The Chloe Show.